If you are interested in Tesla videos, subscribe to the channel here to stay up to date with the latest news. Help us reach the goal of a thousand subscribers and you will be part of our exclusive community. I count on your help. Optimus is much more terrifying than we thought. Since the introduction of Optimus Gen 2, Elon Musk's ambition for it has been immense. It appears he has really started to have an impact, being ready to replace 10% of the workforce cut from Tesla's factories. It will perform at least 100 different tasks within the factory, through an unprecedented advancement that could be considered the biggest yet. It may seem like an exaggeration, but just with this update the game will completely change. So how is Optimus a game-changer for Tesla? It's not wrong to say that Tesla's plan to lay off more than 10% of its global workforce is a timely opportunity for the humanoid robot Optimus to enter factories to perform tasks ranging from simple to complex. Recently, Elon Musk announced an update for this humanoid robot, which we believe is the biggest to date. By the end of this year, Optimus is on track to receive 20 degrees of freedom for his hands, doubling the current number. This information was confirmed by Tesla. But why do Optimus' hands have five fingers? The five fingers are designed to give Optimus as many degrees of freedom as possible. While almost everyone is familiar with the concept of degrees of freedom, if this is something new to you, here's what you need to know. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot can perform. For humanoid robots, degrees of freedom often include movements at various joints along the robot's body, similar to joints in the human body. Currently, the Tesla bot has 11 degrees of freedom in its hands, but it is capable of performing a wide range of tasks that the manufacturer has presented, such as folding a shirt, organizing eggs and handling the 4680 battery. This is so good that it made Jim Fan, senior research manager at NVIDIA and leader of the Embedded AI Lab, noted that Optimus hands are among the best five-fingered robot hands in the world. They have tactile sensitivity, 11 degrees of freedom, compared to many competitors with only 6 to 7 degrees of freedom, and the robustness to withstand many interactions with objects without constant maintenance. Yes, we underestimate Tesla bot because it is getting a lot of updates to get closer to the humanoid robot name. Maybe you don't know, but human hands have 27 degrees of freedom and we can do everything with our hands. So the more interesting question now is, if the Tesla Optimus has 22 degrees of freedom in its new hands, as Elon promises, how perfect will it be? Of course, it will do two-thirds of the work of a human, but first let's see how it will replace 10% of the workforce. The clearest evidence that Optimus can replace human labor in Tesla factories was vividly demonstrated in the latest video presented by Tesla. While it may not be revolutionary, it's at least useful enough to get you started. The humanoid robot is currently performing basic tasks at the factory, including sorting 4,680 batteries into trays. To perform this action, Optimus relies primarily on the end-to-end -end neural network integrated into autonomous driving technology. But why does Optimus need this neural network? Certainly, an end-to-end -end neural network is crucial to the point where, without it, the Tesla bot would become a waste. The end-to-end -end neural network allows all Tesla bot operations to be managed by the neural network rather than being coded individually by programmers, similar to the Atlas robot, which was discontinued by Boston Dynamics. This is the first time that Tesla has implemented this technology in its software, and fortunately, along with electric vehicles, Optimus has also integrated it. Currently, at the Tesla Gigafactory, the process of arranging the 4,680 batteries and then transporting them to other areas for packaging is still 100% carried out by human labor. However, as we have seen, Optimus is fully capable of carrying out these tasks to reduce the workload of human workers. Even when the 4,680 battery cells are quite heavy, weighing approximately 335 g each, the robot can still handle it as it has been reported to have the capacity to carry around 20 kilograms. In contrast to previous introduction videos, this time Tesla particularly emphasizes the robot's ability to complete tasks autonomously, especially those existing in Tesla factories. The evidence is in the video where it demonstrates the ability to close with precision, although intriguing and innovative, upon closer examination it is apparent that there are still many wires and it appears to be actively controlled rather than operating autonomously. Everything has changed significantly this time. Optimus takes just 7 seconds to arrange a 4680 cell on a tray without being controlled by any wires or operators. 
A tray includes 30 slots and Optimus needs at least 3 minutes and 30 seconds to fill it. It can be seen that it is much slower than the speed of a human, but Tesla is still improving the speed of its robots, something that we are confident will significantly reduce time with 22 degrees of freedom on the horizon. But the key question remains, is Optimus really perfect, without flaws? In reality, both robots and humans are prone to encountering problems and errors while working. The crucial aspect is the ability to self-correct the errors they cause. Humans can correct mistakes quickly, but for the Optimus robot, this becomes more complex. Therefore, to truly replace the human workforce, Optimus needs to have the ability to self-correct like humans, and luckily Tesla has achieved this in its latest announcement. When a 4680 battery cell strays from its position in the tray, Optimus doesn't need much time or effort to rearrange it. This demonstrates the robot's ability to recognize errors, failures, and tasks and resolve them autonomously. Let's take a similar task like painting Tesla cars in the workshop for example. If the paint color is not specified, Optimus can adjust the paint color himself or pick up fallen screws. All these possibilities open promising perspectives for the future of automation. The latest video segment from Tesla shows the Optimus robot using cameras, tactile sensors, and force sensors to gather environmental data. The head of Optimus has fewer components to avoid weight issues, and the robot has been tested in a Tesla factory with decreasing human intervention as it refines its abilities. Senior engineer Milan Kovac revealed that more Optimus robots will be produced this year for AI data collection and testing, with plans to increase from 20 to at least 500 units. Elon Musk hinted at a $20,000 price point for Optimus, though achieving this cost remains uncertain. The Optimus robot demonstrates potential for flexibility and navigation in complex environments, essential for tasks in Tesla's factories. Optimus must perform over 100 tasks to effectively replace human workers, with its primary goal being to reduce heavy and repetitive workloads while improving efficiency and accuracy. Before being sold externally, Optimus will be used in Tesla factories for tasks like material transportation, assembly, quality inspection, and maintenance. The robot can detect errors, inspect products, and perform routine maintenance tasks, contributing to increased precision and consistency in production. Warehouse management is another area where Optimus can excel, handling inventory and administrative tasks, which reduces the burden on human workers. Ultimately, Optimus aims to enhance manufacturing efficiency while minimizing human labor. Tesla plans to commercialize the robot by the end of 2025, with expectations of deploying it in other companies for simpler and more hazardous tasks. The long-term vision includes widespread use in homes and factories, potentially revolutionizing labor markets and personal assistance. Tesla has decided to produce both Gen 1 and Gen 2 versions of its Optimus robot, while Boston Dynamics has discontinued its Atlas Gen 1 in favor of Gen 2. Despite 15 years of development and significant achievements with Atlas Gen 1, such as walking, running, and jumping, Boston Dynamics failed to commercialize it. One reason is the high price, with Atlas robots costing up to $150,000, compared to Tesla's Optimus at around $20,000. Another issue is Atlas's hydraulic drive system, which is noisy, requires significant maintenance, and poses safety risks due to potential fluid leaks. These factors make Atlas less appealing compared to the quieter and more maintenance-friendly electric Optimus. Additionally, Atlas's rugged design contrasts with the more user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing design of Optimus, making it less suitable for everyday environments. Consequently, Boston Dynamics struggles with mass production and commercialization of its humanoid robots, unlike Tesla, which is set to increase Optimus production significantly. Boston Dynamics has struggled to commercialize its Atlas robot due to high costs, complex hydraulic systems, and design challenges. Despite its impressive capabilities, Atlas Gen 1 was discontinued to focus on Gen 2. The high price and maintenance requirements, along with noise issues from the hydraulic drive system, made it difficult for Atlas to compete with Tesla's more affordable and electric-powered Optimus robot. Additionally, Atlas's design and lack of advanced AI learning capabilities limited its market appeal. Tesla, on the other hand, benefits from its experience in efficient production and supply chain management, which positions it better for mass production of Optimus. Tesla's use of AI and neural networks in Optimus enhances its adaptability and functionality, making it more commercially viable.
While Boston Dynamics continues to focus on high-quality and innovative products, it faces significant hurdles in achieving large-scale commercialization compared to Tesla. Tesla's strong brand, extensive distribution network, and ample financial resources give it a significant advantage in bringing the Optimus robot to the mass market. In contrast, Boston Dynamics, despite its expertise in robotics research, lacks experience in commercial products and large-scale manufacturing, which hinders its ability to market the Atlas robot effectively. Tesla benefits from its established production capabilities and relationships with suppliers, which facilitate the manufacturing of complex products like Optimus. Tesla's Optimus, designed for household and industrial tasks, boasts advanced AI and an efficient design, making it commercially promising. Conversely, Boston Dynamics Atlas, though capable of impressive feats, suffers from high costs, complex systems, and limited AI adaptability, making it less marketable. Elon Musk has forecasted that Tesla could sell Optimus externally by the end of next year, leveraging their production expertise from EV manufacturing. The hardware and software development of Optimus is primarily manual, with a focus on creating a lighter, more efficient robot. Optimus features advanced components, including digital cameras, an interactive screen, customizable LED strips, and a highly flexible and precise motion system. In summary, Tesla's Optimus is positioned for commercial success due to Tesla's manufacturing strengths and advanced AI, while Boston Dynamics Atlas faces significant challenges in price, performance, and market appeal. Tesla's Optimus robot features a 2.3 kWh battery pack that powers it throughout the day, though some skepticism remains about the claim of a full day's operation without recharging. The battery system includes an integrated computer to manage power distribution, charging, and cooling, and Tesla is expected to upgrade to better battery technology soon. The Optimus robot's legs have seen significant improvements since its initial unveiling, with a 60% increase in movement speed to 1.34 miles per hour. The legs are designed with multiple joints to mimic human movement, controlled by electric drive systems. However, the debate continues on whether legs or wheels are better for robots, as legs offer flexibility but can be expensive and unstable. The assembly of Optimus involves precise manufacturing of mechanical parts, careful assembly, and integration of electronic systems, including control, sensor, and power systems. The robot operates using a neural network-based visual system, drawing on Tesla's experience with full self-driving technology. Optimus utilizes AI technologies like deep learning and computer vision to navigate and interact with its environment, with a custom-designed AI chip managing its processing and connectivity. Tesla's Optimus robot utilizes LTE connectivity and a custom AI chip to process visual and sensory data for real-time decision-making. The neural networks and vision systems used are adapted from Tesla's self-driving car technology, with training data tailored for interacting with a robot's environment rather than driving. Tesla aims to enhance its self-driving technology before mass-producing Optimus robots, potentially starting as early as 2025, though some estimates suggest 2027. The robot is expected to cost around $20,000, less than half the price of a car, with potential applications ranging from industrial tasks to household chores. It can currently perform tasks such as sorting batteries and folding laundry, with continuous improvements in its efficiency and ability to complete complex tasks. Optimus operates for up to 4 hours on a single charge, with future plans to extend this to 8 hours. Concerns about safety and functionality are addressed through its advanced neural network, which allows for precise control and adaptation to new tasks. Despite some skepticism about Tesla's approach, including its decision to not use the Robot Operating System ROS, the company continues to refine Optimus, aiming for significant advancements in both industrial and home settings. Tesla could greatly benefit from engaging with the robotics community instead of reinventing both software and hardware. A key potential advancement is the Robot Processing Unit RPU, designed to optimize performance with hardware acceleration, specifically enhancing the Robot Operating System ROS, with improved computational capabilities. This could revolutionize robot response times and energy efficiency. Tesla's approach involves using their existing technology, including their self-driving computer, for Optimus, rather than adopting standard frameworks like ROS. This could pose challenges but also offers flexibility and potential advantages. The Tesla Optimus robot aims to be highly efficient with its lithium-ion batteries, utilizing Tesla's 4680 cells. 
The design seeks to balance power, efficiency, and safety. Current plans include enabling Optimus to work for up to 8 hours with effective recharging strategies and battery management. Despite impressive progress, including advanced neural networks and adaptability in real-world tasks, challenges remain, such as energy efficiency and safety concerns. Tesla's commitment to innovation suggests that Optimus could soon transform both industrial and household environments, potentially disrupting existing market models.